welcome to Motion. Thank you for visiting my channel. I'm Liv. So in this draw video, I'm gonna share with you how to create this animation. Well, I'm quite excited to um, to make this video because we will learn quite few things inside the tutorial. First, we will learn how to open a bottle. Second, we will learn how to animate um, of the particles inside the field to get bigger, just like what you have seen. And um, well, I think that's all. <laughs> but but yeah, I hope you will learn something from this. So let's just jump right in. So let's get started. What we need to do is um, prepare all the factors that you will need for the animation. So um, here we will need um, the base. The bottle, the cup, the part of cup. So we are going to animate this part of cup so it will look like it is being opened. And also the particle, one, two, three. And we're going to remake the particle inside After Effects so it can be um, animated. And also the pills. So I've got them in separate layers, right? In separate layers. And well, there is one thing then, and this is very important. That is the size of the artboard. So um, to check the size of the artboard, you need to go to the artboard and click this icon. Um, the preset, you need to choose HDTV 1080 and the orientation is landscape and then click OK and now you're good to go and when this is finished um, let's go to After Effects let's open the After Effects program to animate our vectors now let's create a new project here click new composition let's rename it um, maybe opening a battle animation. Great. And the preset is HDTV 108025 with 9020 pixel, height 1080 pixel. And this is like aspect ratio, square pixels 25 full, and let's choose duration 20 seconds. And click OK. What you need to do here is only to drag the Illustrator file into the After Effects composition. Now here, you choose Composition and then the footage dimension layer size and click OK. You see that we've got the composition here. Here is the um, inside this, um, we've got the every layers in our Illustrator. Now you just need to drag this composition here. Right, and let's open it. Now you see you've got everything here, like the base, the bottle, cut, everything in separate layer. Right, we're good to go now, and let's animate this. First, I'm gonna lock this base because I don't want this to move around while I'm animating the battle. And next, let's you see this the cup here and click right click and then create create shapes from factor layer. You can just delete the underneath and we need to duplicate it by click Ctrl B. Right, move the second layer on top of part of the cup. So, and the part of the cup, um, you know, in this position, and click the part of the cup. And um, if you've got no this, if you haven't seen this menu, you just you can click just F four in the keyboard, right? And then you just click. Um, this, um, what is it, arrow, and then alphabet cap outline 2. You see? 
and you can click P for position. Let's start animating this. Let's make keyframe here, and then like after like maybe one and a half seconds, let's move it to the left, and um, you know you can choose all the keyframes and click F9 to easy ears. Now let's preview it by clicking the right click, preview and play current preview. You see that it looks like that it is being opened. Great, we're good to go. Now let's start to um, animate the other things. So, um, let's um, move the bottle, the cup and everything lower so all we need to do is um, select the bottle the cap outline okay everything here and click right click and uh, sorry we just need to um, layer click layer new no object and like select all the what is it the layers except the base and we need to parent them into the this layer one no uh, no object one and you see that if i just click the p on the keyboard and so it's become one element right and yeah let's just put this and um, lower so let's make it from here and then let's make it lower. I and I'll, I also want to make it bigger. So you can just click and what is it? Save and then click S at the same time. Go back to the first keyframe, click scale. Let's make um, the scale keyframe here and then the next second. I want it like to be like this big maybe um, this big enough maybe if enough and choose all the keyframes and then click F9 and let's see let's preview it great I think that that looks great. And now, um, um, now let's um, what is it? Let's um, animate this fill. So it will look like the it is being you know flying in from inside the bottle. Um, the scale is just good enough what we need to do we just need to play with the um, with the rotation now The navy fail and then player new no object. You need to parent the blue pill and the navy pill into the no two. So it they become one component. Let's see. You see? And let's move it here and let's um what is it? Select all these three layers and place them under the bottle so um, it, they don't appear outside the bottle now great and and now um, click the new two let's name it to fill right and i want it to so before we animate the fill going outside 
from the bottle let's animate the cup of the bottle so it is open right and right now let's select the cup outline part of the cup and also a cup outline and then click ctrl shift d right now you've get you've got them like cup and put it on top of no one and then click layer new no object and rename the new the node 3 to cup of the bottle now you see that this new let's um, parent it to cup of the bottle now we're good to go here because the anchor point is not um, inside the these factors let's move it you just need to, to click this icon the pan behind and then to drag it here or maybe here I think it's gonna be good here right let's go back to the um, selection tool click the cup of the bottle layer and click rotation and Save and P to open the position. Make the keyframe here, and I think it could to be one second after the second, and um, rotate it like so, and also move this here. Right. Let's select all the keyframes. Click F9 here, and let. Review it again. Great. Right. And let's just edit it some like the rotation. I'm sorry, I'm in the position. Right. Now, um, let's um, reposit the pill. And click position and also rotation so save and then air to open up the rotation and make the keyframe here like after two seconds I guess let's um, here Rotate it a bit, maybe like this. Select all the keyframes and click F9 to easy it. Let's preview it. And I think we need to reposit it like to go deeper in the bottle so it's like it was taken from a dip inside the bottle okay I think we're good to go now here now um, let's um, what is it create the particle again to recreate the particle because um, we need to create it not from a circle shape but from a rounded rectangle tool right so click here like left click like for some seconds and then choose the rounded rectangle tool and then click left click and then control and shift and drag it and click control and this pan behind twice and go back to selection tool and we need to um, what is it um, to to cut it so control um, save and D click this layer and let's rename it to be particle one 
and twirl down the menu until you see rectangle path you see this rounders make it until it becomes a a perfect circle and you can just you know you can just um, resize it to the size you want Right, now let's make the anchor point inside the circle by clicking um, Ctrl, sorry, Ctrl and the span behind twice. And go back to selection tool. And duplicate it to become three particles. Reposition it, so... Position. Right, we can just delete the particle we have in um, Illustrator. You see that we've got like three particles now. Let's rename it to particle 2 and then particle 3. Great. And let's posit this three particle here okay and um, select all the particle and let's move the layers to become um, under the pill so it is invisible now and what we need to do now is um, to open up the pill click this two pill and click position sorry click P and also save and air to open up the rotation menu and let's make the what is it um, the keyframe here and go to one second Let's animate this rotation like it is being opened. Right, and select all the layers. Click F9. Let's, what is it? Let's preview it. Great! <laughs> now, when it is being opened, let's just um, Now let's, um, what is it, to animate the particles so they are flying from inside the pill to go here. Position. I think we need two seconds. Right, select all the keyframes. Click F9 to easy it. You see that they are flying outside the pill. And I want them to fly one by one. We can do that by select this um, keyframe. Adjust them. You can just um, edit this one by one. Let's, um, so you, you need to throw down the menu. Open the content rectangle one until you see rectangle part one. And you see the size here. Unchanged this. And let's create the um, what is it? The keyframe here, and then like after one second, and here from 60 to something like this, I guess, and then from 60 to something like this, and let's see again. 
great. Right. Now we're done with this. We queue to see the key friends that we have made. Now if you want to put the text, like the text um, appear from inside the particle, it's very easy to do. So let's take this particle one and let's duplicate it by click Ctrl and D and um, click the particle one and you can just click text maybe let's try text one so you want this text to like appear from inside the particle all you need to do is just to replace the text on top of the particle one and then control V and um, here from none to alphabet particle 4 oh, sorry this, the, the text is here you just need to and what is it? Click P for the position. Let's create the keyframe. F9 and C. Ding dang. Voila! You got the text. I'm flying from inside the particle now. You see? And let's, um, what is it? Let's preview it from the zero second. So what do you think? So I think that's all and I really hope you learned something from this. <laughs>